low cost is actually, I think, a very positive thing because people are looking for good, low cost places to travel, and New Westminster is a, a wonderful destination. The cost of the trip isn't always this low. The Inn at the Key, the hotel featured in the prize, is having a 40% off sale right now. What do you think, Ann? Oh, so that factored into the low price. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd take it. I definitely would. Sounds that good is, to me. It's beautiful down there by the key. Great by the You're key. You're right next to everything else exactly. in the metro van you'd want to go to. You can take the Sky Train, come downtown if you want. You can head out to Richmond. You can do whatever you, you want. You're an adult. The world is your oyster. <laughs> exactly. Especially in New Westminster. Great prize. Sorry you didn't win it. All right. For us, we're going to see more in the way of sunshine as we head into tomorrow before a few sprinkles on Wednesday morning. It clears up through the afternoon. Looking good for the rest of the work week. Okay. Thanks, Anne. We'll return for more local news with Mi Jung Lee at 6, but first, the very first edition of CTV National News at 5.30 with Sandy Ronaldo. Hello, everyone, and welcome to some of the stories we have for you right now. Iceland, picture a seaside shaken by earthquakes. We have this tremendous uncertainty now. A sign a volcano in the country is ready to roar. Good morning. Good morning. The shocking return of a political giant called in to save the day. Our supplies are very, very low. Appeals to help the hospitals, the dire situation inside Gaza. Plus, touchdown in Hamilton, the Royal Canadian Navy delivers the Grey Cup ahead of Sunday's big game. CTV National News with Sandy Ronaldo. And before we get to those stories, we are very excited to be launching this brand new CTV National Newscast at 5.30. This is day one for us. Hope you'll be joining us every day this week and beyond. Okay, let's start with a situation developing at this hour. A public health notice for parents and pet owners. A growing number of salmonella infections, the outbreak spanning six provinces, and many of those getting sick are kids. CTV's Tony Grace joins us. So, Tony, I gather that this strain is drug resistant. So, how much should parents be worried? Well, Sandy, families with pets will want to take particular notice here because public health suspects that raw pet food and treats, both homemade and store bought, are some of the sources. At least 40 people have become sick, almost half of them children aged five. They're hoping or the development of local talent will keep industry giants like Hallmark coming back for more. Kerr Perry, CTV News, St. John's. And that's it for us. Be sure to join Omar Sachedina later tonight. I'm Sandy Ronaldo. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Your local CTV News starts right now. Bye for now. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with Canada's top story. That patch over there with me. Actually, health community. We have exclusive details tonight. Canada's number one newscast. The entire neighborhood. CTV National News with Omar Sachedina. Weeknights at 11.